everybody welcome back to some more Chrono Cross today we're starting at the village that we landed last episode of course kid got sick and blah 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 we gotta go find some hydro humor to save her but yeah let's kind of check out the town because we landed here last episode but we didn't really check it out so today we're actually gonna check it out uh, one which choose their own path I pray that your journey be blessed by the guidance of the great six dragons yep so we talked to her basically she told us the amulets something special blah 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 say have you heard of the six dragons they're supposedly supposedly six dragons descend from the heavens to seal away the evil and promise eternal prosperity across the land it's part of the old song blah 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 uh, i'm pretty sure that's a zip line that we can take uh to get all the way to the bottom of the town very very quickly we're not going to use that though because there are some shops that i want to take a look at up here uh this is the element shop over here we're a small village, but we have some rare elements you won't find in bigger towns. Let's take a look what we can buy. Uh, okay, uh, what do we need here? Let's buy a couple tablets. A couple medicines, a couple ointment, a couple braces, and then we don't really need much of the stuff. Maybe a meteorite, photon ray, another gravity blow. But we don't really need any much more than that. And then we will sort out our equipment and stuff in a little bit. Uh, but for now, since we only have two members in our party because of course Kid is sick, which we will get her back in due time. Uh, for now, we're going to get a third one. Which is going to be Korcha because he's just, I mean... It's kind of obvious. He's kind of waiting for us. He wants to save Kid because he low-key low likes Kid. So, of course, he's going to come with us. Oh, hi there. There isn't much of a feel right at home. I love how when we landed here, she kind of, like, kicked us out. But all of a sudden, now we're just chilling. So, that's cool. Let's see. What is Mel doing? What? Don't you bother me. I've got to concentrate and concentrate. Okay. Well, we'll be back here later because there's going to be a quest I'm pretty sure after we get back kid there's going to be a little side quest here um I guess we can go up here I'm pretty sure this is another uh zip line wire thingy yeah do you know that these wires are if you don't know I'll teach you uh alright so let's keep going so what's it going to be uh of course I'll do it yep Let's pay him the 10G. Might as well support local businesses, right? And I don't think we're going to need anything up there anymore. So we can safely travel down over here. And there is the blacksmith shop. Right. Actually, this girl. I'm pretty sure we, you can trade elements. And actually, but... There's no reason to take a look at the Alamus to trade it unless I know what I actually need. So. Let's upgrade equipment. Let's forge. Um. We can make a brass rod, but we need an eyeball. And then here he has a copper swallow. Okay, um. Make one of these. Oh. Yeah. Make one of those. Okay. Actually, there's not very much we could buy. I thought we'd be able to upgrade a bit more. Um, apparently not, but that's fine. Let's see. No, does this guy have anything? Sorry, to know, but do you have a, a shiny material? Elements are commonized, but there's a special kind called summon elements. These kind of release awesome power depending on the six attributes. Is a mysterious... Okay, this matter is essential. Okay, so he's just talking about some like weird material. That we can upgrade good stuff. That's a gnome. What's up, gnome? The wind brings back memories. Hey, boy. From the main island, you know the Hydra Marshes. It's the forest to the southeast. Although they're called the Hydra Marshes, there are no more Hydras there. Everyone left the forest after the Hydras died off. I too left the forest. They ain't no fit for a living creature anymore. So... When we go to the other world, that's exactly where we're going to have to go to the Hydra Marshes to find a Hydra to help Kid. Now, what is 
Welcome, it's a small shop, but feel free to relax. Can we buy anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright. So, we're basically set, then, to get moving. We're basically set. So, let's go talk to... Oh, wait, actually... Um... Let's see, what can we trade? Is there anything useful? Oh, we can trade elements. Well, I don't... I think we're good for now. Uh... Okay, I don't know why well, thank you. Here it is. Please take a get of it. So we got pelvic bone. Are you ready to go? Ready anytime? Uh... Yeah, I'm ready. There's nothing else that I want from here. Alright, we're off. Okay, so the bone that she just gave us, it's a long story, but basically, if you guys remember in Terminatown, the one grandma was talking about a little boy that ran away from the circus, well, he's a bunch of bones now, and yeah, I don't, I've never actually finished the quest, but I'm pretty sure something happens if you get all the bones. I know you get the head from the canyon, which we're actually going to do right now, if possible. But, I don't know where this boat's take. I think, we're going back to Termina, right? Okay, so yeah, we're going back to Termina. But, either way, we're gonna need to go to the other world. So, we've got plenty of time. Now, so far, the game has been very linear as a story. But, this is kind of the part of the game where we're actually gonna start expanding a little bit. So, now we're gonna do some exploring and not just go straight for the quests. Who said you could dock that thing here? Get that thing out of here right now. Hey, don't be such a hardhead. It's not like we're robbing from anyone. Besides, nobody else is docking here, right? That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is, here, keep it. You can't bribe me with some the delicious scent and the subtle texture. This must be the famous rare drink of Dragonians and Dragon's Glory. I thought this might happen, so I snacks in from my mom's kitchen. Alright, I'll give you special permission this time, but next time I might not be so easy when that happens. Don't worry, I'll get some more for you. Very well, heck, <laughs> you're pretty quick for a kid. If you don't hurry, that girl's gonna die. You two can't do this alone. Why don't you let me come along? So, now we got Korchup. Now, I've stated in previous episodes, I don't like Korchup. I don't like his design. I don't like who he is. I actually find him very creepy. But I don't have any choice. I basically have to keep him in my thingy. Now, okay. I don't think there's much to do in this town because we've pretty much explored most of it. Right now, again, our main task is to basically bullet point towards the Hydra Marshes in the other world. But we're going to do a tiny bit of exploring before we go there because, well, this is what the game's about, right? So, what's over here again? I forgot. Shadow Forest. What's in here? Let's take a, just a quick look. A, a small gander. Oh, this is the... Pl okay. Um, we might be able to grind levels here. But I know there's not a mission there yet. One thing that we will do as a side quest right now... I guess we can just go from the north part. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go kill that bird up there. And we're gonna get the head of the skeleton. If that's here... I don't know if it's in the other world or this world, but let's go up here. I'm pretty sure the guards shouldn't be up here. The guards are usually blocking this until you get to a certain point of the game. Now we're at that certain point in the game. So let's go down here. And let's go fight this bird. So earlier, the bird would basically murder us back when we had only kid. But now, I received a big egg. Okay. Okay, are you gonna fight me? <laughs> there we go, it's just kind of hopping around. But, I don't know, I don't think this is a boss, but this is definitely like a stronger creature. Probably not as strong now, since we waited kind of a good long while to actually fight it. It's still fairly strong though. Okay, so it's color is white, so we could use black magic, but I don't really have much of that. Wow. It's, okay, well, maybe it does take a little bit of work. Wow. Okay. 
Hopefully it doesn't just insta-kill. Oh. Dang. I'm gonna defend with him. Let's see how hard this guy hits. Okay. He hits pretty hard. Okay, I'll, I like it. Let's go ahead and headbutt. Again, I just I don't like his move set, man. He looks so weird. Oh, he's getting ready for another attack. Hmm. I think gravity blow will hit him. Hopefully he doesn't kill anybody. He might. He very well might. Maybe this will just kill him though, since it's against his color. Oh, perfect. Okay. I was scared Gil was going to die there for a little bit. So yeah, uh, like I said, if that peck almost killed Gil now, it would have definitely murdered us earlier in the game. So, good thing I waited. Uh, how How is our health? Okay, Gil needs some health. Um, let's just use tablets. There we go. Only Gil took health. Okay, let's check out the rest of the canyon. Pretty sure we can go up here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this, this was a skill that I, talk, that I was talking about. So, we did get the pelvis. Now, this is actually the head. Looks like I'm causing quite a stir. I've been waiting forever for someone like you. Yeah, I know. By the way, if we would have came here earlier, we would have talked to the soldiers. A bunch of them were talking about something creepy going on. It's another kind of like line we missed. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, huh? I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body and I don't remember a thing. You understand what I'm going through yet, don't you? But I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body part. So how is it going? Will you help me find my body? Sure. Yeah, I've... I'm heavier than I look, but I hope you don't mind it. Don't swing me around too much. I start feeling nauseous. So, we got the heavy skull. So, now we got the pelvis and the skull. And I don't really know how many parts there are. But, um... I don't know. We'll go through the game and uh, we'll find them slowly, I guess. Now, can we... Can we go up there? Uh... uh we gotta go through here. Oh, we just walk over this. And some of the sprites in this game are so wonky. Let's get this flower. Bell flower gently. Don't really know what that does. And this is also an enemy right here. Let's fight it. I'm gonna try to encounter on video at least every enemy once in the game. Ooh. We got a bird. Okay, well I'm gonna take out the small boys first. Wow, my second one missed. That's kind of dumb. Okay, I was like, is anyone attacking? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to... Okay, whatever. I was trying to do something else. Alright. Uh, oh, I was trying to get my third hit off. That's dumb. Alright, well we can use one down on this guy. Let's go ahead, get rid of him, and then take care of the bird. Get out of here. 99 damage. But you ain't one. Hey, yeah, he hits kind of hard. I like it. His headbutt, you know what? I'm just going to defend. His headbutt doesn't do much damage. I wonder why the bird's not attacking. Okay, well, there. I just as I said that. And the bird attacked the person that is defending, so that's pretty neat. And let's go ahead and use Ice Blast, might as well. Bam. Dead. Ice, Ice Blast, I think it's Ice Blast, whatever. There's quite a bit of damage, I like it. Da -da -da -dum. Uh, did I heal? I didn't heal, but whatever. He's missing like five health. I think he'll be fine. All right. Uh, I think for now that is basically everything here at the canyon. So we're gonna get moving. Do do do. And I guess we should probably quickly check out the marshes on this world. 
just kind of like take a look at them and then go to the other world. Other world's Hydra Marshes. But also, what I'm going to end up doing is... Since I, I know what's going to happen next... Oh, the <laughs> little pup just attacked another one. I know that the next Hydra Marsh, like this next part of the game, in my opinion, is the hardest part of the game. Um, just for the fact that... Um, in this next part, there's a lot of bosses in very quick succession without a lot of leveling in between. So it tends to be very, very overwhelming. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, um, after, I'm gonna try not to get into the big, big bosses this episode. And obviously, we're gonna we're gonna finish this episode. You know, 30 minutes. We're gonna get some stuff done. But after this episode, I do want to do some grinding to prepare for the next one. So over here, we have a place which we can't do anything with yet. And over here, this is the Hydra Marshes over here. So, like they kept saying, on this world, there are no more Hydras. Let's talk to this guy. Huh, you say you're searching for a Hydra, huh? Didn't know they died out years ago. You won't find any of them here in El Nido. Now, if you're wondering what happened, just look about you. The ecosystem that kept the water clean has been destroyed. Now the water is just pools of acid. What once was a beautiful living woodland has now become a dead forest. So yeah, basically, if we step in that water, we get poisoned. And there's not really much to do in here, really. And we can go into that water, but we need like some kind of suit to not take damage. So for now, we're going to leave it be. There's really no reason to be here because, once again, there are no hydras there. But if we go to Opasa Beach, we will do something that is very wonderful. Opasa Beach, Angelus Arar. Is it true that this place has split the flow of time in twain? So, Serge, what you gonna do now? We're gonna use the pendant. That's what we're gonna do. You know what I mean? What is that? Is it reacting to something? This is the hole that connects the two worlds. The whatchamacallit hole, right? So, yep. If we stand here and use the astral amulet... Damn, we get poofed to the other world. This time we don't get taken by the beach, but we actually just kind of do it ourselves. And bam. We are at the other world. And you guys got to remember, in this world, we are actually alive. Felt like my body split into two. A very strange feeling. So now we're in the other world. I still can't believe it, though. Chip, we can basically switch worlds whenever we want, anytime we want. But we just do have to remember that this is our real world. So here we are very much alive. So we can go talk to Lena real quick, and I'll show you guys that she actually does recognize us. Serge, where have you been? You had me worried sick. You just suddenly disappeared from the beach. That was some magic trick. Don't even think about pulling that one again. Once is enough for me. So yeah, to her, we basically just disappeared. But in reality, we actually went to a different world. But it's really nice. Now, in this world, not everybody thinks I'm dead. So that's good, right? So let's do a couple of things. Of course, right now, we're supposed to head to the Hydra Marshes. But we're going to main, like the main quest we're gonna do that in a little bit for now let's just kind of do some of these can we go through here or is are we still not allowed the poor army is currently investigating the area it is off limits we will inform you in our investigation oh, so we can't go through there oh, okay so our search limits is kind of okay i guess we're just fine we're just gonna go straight to the hydra marshes then you know what i'll i dig it I wish I had a little bit more leveling, but oh well. Why, if it isn't Surge, didn't the village elders tell you not to come near here? Do you have some kind of business here? 
Hmm, I won't ask you what it is. I can tell by the look on your face that it is something important. Here you go, go through. I'm sure the three of you can handle yourselves. Truly. Before you enter, I'll give you a word of advice. The marshes are like a maze full of poisonous monsters. Be prepared. Yes. Do we have... How many antidotes? We have 11. Okay, you know what we're gonna do real quickly? We're gonna go and we're gonna buy some more antidote because we're bound to get poisoned a lot. And I will buy some more tablets since I do have a quite an excess amount of money. Um, yes, show me your elements. Wait, does she sell antidote? Please tell- okay, you do sign to dope. Okay, good. Uh, let's buy... Let's buy 20 more of them. And then medicine will buy 10 more. Okay, cool. So now we have some antidote. And real quick, I keep forgetting to do this. But our equips. We need to, um, take care of these. Is ivory better? No, ivory is worse. Um, what does this do? Okay, let's take the knee pad off. Let's go over here. Uh, um, uh, improves against magic defense. There we go. Okay, let's improve his hit. And give him a bronze helmet. And then this guy, uh, we'll give him... Oh, we can't give this to him? I wonder why not. Okay, well, wait. Shifts attribute of element attacks received to weapon. Hmm. Don't know what really that does, but you know what? I guess we're fine with, with that little kit. We're fine. Let's head to the marshes now. We've got plenty of antidotes. And we've got some medicine and some tablets. Because it, undoubtedly we're going to get poisoned and we're going to need a lot of small health supplies, not big health supplies. And here the water is not poison. Uh, but like I said, we're going to go through the entire map here. I'm going to try to finish as much of the game as possible. So this isn't a 100% run, but I will try my best to get everything possible. I think I've said this in an earlier video, but yeah. So anything that I can get to, might as well. There's no reason not to get it. I'm pretty sure this enemy is tough. I'm pretty sure this thing just bl literally just blows up. Okay, so it's it's green, right? You know what? Actually, we'll just use Ice Blast anyway since it's level 4. It's probably stronger. Even though it's weak against yellow. Boom. Yeah, the thing just blows up, right? Yeah, the thing literally just does nothing but poison all of us. Do I get anything from it? Or do I just, like, just get poisoned for no reason? Oh, okay, we do get stuff from it. Okay, and we even got air saucer. Okay. Cool, I'll take it. Uh, real question is, are we poisoned? Yes, yeah, Surge is poisoned. Okay, not items, no. Elements, use. Antidote. Yep, there we go. So, we're gonna get poisoned quite a lot. So, I'm expecting to do that multiple times. For a second, I thought my controller died, but no. It's just a little cutscene. Alright, cool. A little what you doing standing there in the days. I, I hate cold and climate places. Besides, we ain't got time to sit around and toast marshmallows. You right? Yeah, that was like a little ghost girl. It's very creepy. Boom. Over here is where we're gonna come out of. Yeah. I think. Alright, I guess let's check it out. But let's see what this is. Okay, so this, this is like a little... Is there only one of them? Oh, okay, there's two of them. Okay, that didn't hit. That didn't hit. Wow, okay, just nothing wants to hit. Oh, that thing hits quite hard, actually. Finally, something hit. What? Okay, wait, uh, what is this? What color? It's white? Oh, no, 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 it's blue. So let's use fireball against it. Boom. 
Wow, the thing's not dead. Gotta be kidding me, right? Damn. Nice. One of them's dead. And this should kill it. If this doesn't kill it, I'd be surprised. Although, I've had surprises in this game before. Wham. Okay, they did kill it. Good stuff, good stuff. Man, I... I can't wait until we get rid of Korcha. I don't know why. I just legitimately never liked that character. I just, he just looks weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm biased or something, but yeah, so when we finish this entire thing, that's where we're gonna come out of. For now we'll leave it alone. And we have two paths. Left and up. I know left is the way we're supposed to go. Up here is basically nothing. We can't really do anything just yet. But we can get a chest. Found a cure. And there's a little um, gnome here. Now, I don't want to give any major spoilers, but basically, the people that live here are these gnomes. These are going to be our main enemies throughout the Hydra, especially near the end. But I'm not going to spoil it. You guys will see in the end. Let's go ahead and give them a good whacking. These, these people are pretty strong. They're not weak. The main thing about them is sometimes they come in very big groups and it can hurt quite a lot. Let's go. Do I not have a magma bomb on him? Wow. I'm guessing these are all single enemy. Okay, well let's just ice blast one of them. One of ones that I didn't attack. So then we'll be able to use magma bomb with Gil. Oh. I think I just died. Okay. I guess I'm okay with that. Let's see if we can hit them all. Ooh, both of them dodged it. What a, what a cheeky lad. Okay, let's hit him with only one, and then wandle the other one, because it should be an instant kill. Should be an instant kill. And then the other one is very weak, so we could probably just poke him with Korcha. And he should be dead. Give him a little whacking on the head with the, the pole. But the one thing that I am fairly happy with is he his attack is stronger than I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie. I always thought Portia was like really really weak. But he does hit decently hard, so I'll take it. I'll take it. And I'm guessing we can't Okay, we can't do anything with that. Uh can we do anything here? Pretty sure the thing. Oh, we can. Okay. Maybe we can. Can we can't walk up there. Um, before we go up there, because if we jump down that, we're not coming back. Let's take a look what's up here. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the way we have to go is that way. Maybe I was wrong. Let's take a look at what's up here. Everybody down. Something's big heading our way. It's a giant bug. Alright, what was that thing? I cannot believe this place. Okay, let's... So yeah, I guess we're just gonna finish this way. I kind of forgot what was the other way. But all I know is if we go that way, there's no turning back. So I want to check out this place just in case. Did you just see a strange looking creature up ahead? Yup! That thing of a thing of a jigger. I hate these things. Bubba Biba. This this Biba no place for humans, Biba. Go away, Biba off. Alright, get ready to fight then. I ain't scared. That's for oh show. Oh dude. Come on, bro. Okay. Leave it to Biba. Biba, call friend. So the thing that sucks with these guys is they call friends, which is quite annoying. So basically, if we don't kill them fast enough, they'll just keep calling friends over and over again. So let's make sure to kill them. 
They're also a nice way to farm though. Because if they just keep calling their friends, you can just stay here. Just keep killing them and killing them and killing them. Bubba, oh my god, more friends, that's not good. Okay, well let's try to kill... Oh, I lost track. I don't know which one has the health. I'll just guess the middle one, I guess. Hopefully this kills him. Did that kill him? Nope. That's fine, though. Okay, give him a good... You would call even one more friend. Oh, now we got four of them. That's not good. And they hit fairly hard, which kind of sucks. These things are blue, right? Alright, well, let's gonna attack the middle one. Hopefully, he doesn't just call friends infinitely. That would kind of suck. Man, this, these things have a large amount of health, surprisingly. And it'd be cool if they didn't dodge very often. Oh, it's a good thing he missed Surge. Surge is kind of low already. Okay, this one's almost low. Biba Lout Revolution. Nah, fam. What does that even mean? Ah, uh, no more friends come. Biba, no friend left. Okay, no more friends. Good. So, we can just defeat these ones and get on with our lives. But, this thing needs to stop hitting me first. So let's go ahead and Ice Blast this one over here. Because I'm pretty sure Magma Bomb should be able to kill it. Kill the other one at least. So let's go to one in the back here. Try to get up to Magma Bomb. Ugh. Why didn't they let me Magma Bomb? Don't attack, don't attack. Okay, good. Yes, we have Magma Bomb. Hopefully this kills maybe two of them. This will definitely do some damage though. Wow, didn't kill either of them. Alright, well, let's maybe try to finish these ones off. Stupid thing dodged. Alright, oh. Well, hopefully they don't do some, like, special crazy attack. Let's defend. Defend. Okay, good. They hit us when we're defending, so that's good. We won't lose too much health. And defend. And Corpse is getting kind of low, so we're going to have to be careful with him. Because they're hitting him quite a lot. But we should be able to actually kill these guys if we don't stop missing, that is. We really have to stop missing. It's actually super triggering. This one needs to die. Finally. Don't, don't hit him twice. Okay, good. What we're gonna do... Ooh. Uh, let's defend. We're gonna have to heal him up. For sure. Others are still defending, so... Let's make sure to kill this one. Okay, Corch is still defending. But we're definitely gonna have to... Don't, okay, I was going to say, if, if they hit him again, he's dead, so. That was pretty lucky. Let's use Cure, right? We have Cure. I'm Korcha. Just because, obviously, I don't want him to die, because I want him to get the experience. Alright, come on. Gotta kill three more. Please hit. Good. And let's hit. Are these guys? No, I don't want to hit them with that. As we can hit this one with a fireball. I maybe need to relocate some of these. It seems like some of my elements are kind of. I'm not. I don't have an equal amount. Really? That one's seriously not dead. 
it's fine. We'll whack him. Alright. Please hit. Good. Hit again. Good. Now, uh, the one in the back is weaker than the one in the front. The one in the front is not even touched, I don't think. And Corcha doesn't have any elements. So let's go in the back. Hit. Nice. Good hit. Boop. Surge. Hopefully I can kill off the one on the back. If I hit both threes. Yes. Ooh. That was... That was a good hit right there. A solid 66. You know what? Let's go to Gil. Make sure we defend. Make sure he don't die. Okay, so both Surge and Gil are a little bit low. I'm pretty sure, though, we're going to be able to finish them off before, though. If they don't dodge... Mm, it's so tilting. Okay, it's a good thing they went for Quartia. Good. like it. Uh, okay, he's going for Surge. I don't think Surge is defending, is he? Uh, okay, let's kill the one in the back. Good. Let's make sure we hit him. Whoa, he mi mm, That's so bad. Surge is gonna die if we don't... No, 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 no. Okay, good. Corcha. One more hit to Surge and he's dead, so... We have to kill this one, though. This one needs to die. Do I have a cure? Heal. I'm gonna heal Surge. That leaves Gil very susceptible, but he Gil's not gonna die in one hit. Surge might. So, we really gotta kill the one in the back, though. Nice. Two good hits. Alright, this won't kill Gil, though. That'll definitely hurt, but it won't kill him. Alright, one more. Missed. God, come on. Do we have a heal? We don't. Okay, we'll use dash and slash on him. I don't think I have any more healing stuff, so... Go ahead and hit him pretty hard. Okay, good. Hits Korcha, not Gil. And that was a good, like, critical attack, so... That's good that it wasn't used on Gil. Okay, let's go ahead and defend. Good. I like Corch's being a good bait. He's being good bait. Okay. Bam. Okay. If we get some good hits, he should be... He should be low now. Okay. He's gonna hit Corcha. Well, Corcha has a good bit of health still. So, he's fine. He'll be fine. And Gil's still defending, so... He's not gonna die no matter what hits him, basically. And I'm pretty sure these guys don't have any spells, or they would've used them by now, so... Okay, good hit. Nice! That was a good... That was a good three. I'll take it. Alright, we made it through that fight. Good, good. We got a lot of fur. Okay. I, I, Biba, really sorry. Here, I give you this. Please forgive me, but this Biba flute is handed down on the Biba family. A Biba magical, it calls Wingapede. It makes Wingapede Biba good, Wingapede. It best Biba used in a wide open space. Well, I'll Biba see it. Wow, we beat him in one fight, and he gives us his family heirloom, so. <clears throat> this guy apparently doesn't have very good standards. He could have just ran, he didn't have to give me something. But, we will be using the Biba flute, for sure. Why don't you try blowing the flute here, Surge? I will, but first I'm gonna save. Definitely gonna save real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and blow the flute. This be by the wrong place. This is in the wide open space I was talking about. So that wide open space is gonna be 
over to our right. But for now, guys, we're going to end off the episode here. Let's go ahead and use some tablets, though. Get all healed up. And none of us are poisoned. Also, uh, let's allocate some things because... Um, let's put revive on surge. Let's put a cure. We need some more healing things for sure. 100%. Um, let's put... Um, heal? Heal's good. Okay, let's go to the next character. I don't think he has any spaces, right? Nope. Corcha does have... Oh my god, he had a bunch of space. I didn't even know it. Alright, that's fine. Let's put Bushwhacker. Photon Ray. Gravity Blow. And... Let's put another Gravity Blow on the two. We'll put... Is Ice Blast two? No, it's four. Let's put Magma Bomb. Magma Bomb. Uh... Is this two? One of those. And... Meteorite. On three. Uh... Put a Capsule. And on four, Ice Blast. Let's actually go back to Surge. Let's put Magma Bomb on him. And on Geel. Heal. Uplift. Okay. Oh, let's put Magma Bomb here, too. Alright, cool. So, we've got our kind of elements in shape, guys. So, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to like and a comment. That supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And...